as far as the North is concerned, the 2023 presidency goes to the Southwest for eight years at the Mugaraba. A lot of Nigerians have their opinions on the power shifts in the country. Some feel it should go to the North, some feel the East deserves it, while others feel that the South deserves the power shift. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always having you here. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. May God bless you all. A lot of Nigerians have their opinions on the power shifts in the country. Some feel it should go to the north. Some feel the east deserves it. Why others feel that the south deserves the power shift? Adamu Gabra, a former presidential aspirant, has also held his opinion on where he feels the, the next president of Nigeria should come from. In a recent tweet, Adamu Gabra stated, as far as the north is concerned, the 2023 presidency goes to the southwest for the next eight years and it will be delivered to Ashiweju Bola Ahmed Tunubu. All other candidates contesting from the north are indirectly keeping with the promise above or wallowing in Jombari. Hmm. The issue of power shifts in Nigeria continues to remain a debate among its citizens. What region of the country do you think the next president should come from, or do you agree with Adamu Karaba? Though these have generated reactions by Nigerians. The first person I have here said, hmm, what happened to the East? And that is a very good question. See, let's forget about sentiment here. Let's just say the truth, the facts, the way it ought to be. Since the inception of democracy in Nigeria, the Southeast is only Southeast region that have not, had never tested, you know, that, uh, that seat, that presidency. Now, this supposed to be for the Southeast. Even the Southwest, they're supposed to support the Southeast, is still going for this. You understand? If I could recall the Asaba declaration when the Southeast governors, uh, I beg your pardon, the Southern governors made a declaration that the presidency must come back, must come back to the South because that is, you know, how it's supposed to be. You know, so they, re they rotate the, you know, the presidency. You understand? It's just a gentleman agreement. If you go to the north, it will come to the south, so that everybody, you know, will be carried away, will carried along. I beg your pardon. Everyone will be carried along. Now that President Mamadou Buhari, who is from the north, you know, is about to leave the office, the power is supposed to come to the to the south. Most Northerners are saying that that does not count. That is not constitutional. And that and all that. Every region, you know, have the right to contest because it's now turned for the, for the South, for the Southerners. Now, let's go back to this. Uh, the issue of South Easterners. Someone, you know, dropped this uh, comment here. He said, what happens to the Southeast if we are, if we are, to judge based on equity, if we are to judge based on fairness and all that. This presidency is supposed to go to the southeast because they are the only region in Nigeria that have not tested, you know, that have not been, uh, or can I say that have not uh, uh, produced a president in Nigeria. You understand? Now, the Southwest that's supposed to support the South Easterners or South South are now, you know, divided. 
I see my Jubola Tunubu is from the southwest. The other presidential uh, candidate, Peter Obi, is from the southeast. So you now see that uh, if the, the south is a kind of divided right now. Now, coming back to the north, you have Atiku Abubakar. Some persons are still saying that Atiku Abubakar do not supposed to be there. Why? President Mahmoud Buhari is from the north, from Fulani extraction, which Atiku Abubakar too is from the north, and the Fulani extraction too. How can a northerner, after eight years of rain, and another northerner wants to take over power, you know, uh, from uh, take over again? That is not fair. If we are talking about fairness, if we are talking about, uh, you know, um, uh, justice, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. If we are talking about fairness, that is not fair at all. So the power is supposed to shift to this to the southeast. Okay, someone said here, go and ask PDP who southeast have been working for. Hmm. South now. Nah. South is Nabiafra. Someone said that. Oh God, you only have one vote. That day you can face anyone. You can't force anyone to vote for your candidate. Someone said, but the obituaries are trying to force people to support Peter Obi. So after Southwest, which zone is the next? I need an answer from Adamu, the owner of Nigeria. Ask him, ask me oh, the foolish man like him. Not, of course, hypocrites. The North will vote for Atiku. Exactly. Tinubu has chosen to remain blind to the last day. The North, especially Fulanese, will vote for Atiku and not Tinubu. Hmm. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have not. Thank you.